Hi, hello. Today I want to show you how you get points, let's say coordinates of points from Excel or some other text file into AutoCAD. Therefore, you need an Excel table which you save as comma separated file or just a plain text file with your coordinates like this. Make sure that the coordinates are separated by co columns and at the end of the line there should be a return. So I will select them all and copy them. Go to my AutoCAD. Just click right to Home, Draw and Multiple Points. Then move your mouse to the Status line. Click right here. Press Ctrl and V for Paste and make a double click on your scroll wheel, mouse wheel, and you will see all the points. Okay, now the points are a little bit small. So you have to change the point style. And if you want to change the point style, just go over here, Utilities, and there is Point Style. Go to Point Style, and then you can change it to maybe something like this. Okay. Now I want to insert two splines. Make sure that the node snap is activated. Look right here in the settings. This one should be activated so you can snap on the nodes. Okay, then go for draw spline fit and one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and enter. And another one. So I go for check node right here, here, not the endpoint but the node, and then enter. Now I have to make sure that these splines have a certain direction. Yeah, take a look. So I select it and spline display control vertices fit. Data and Tangents. So this tangent should start here, and the other one should be like this exit and exit. And the same for the second one. Spline display control vertices and go for fit data tangents. Go right 
here and the second one goes up here and exit and exit okay So it might be useful to have some more layers. So I go for my layer manager and make a new layer, which I call sketches. And the color should be maybe this one. And I want to change these two splines onto that layer. So maybe I activate the quick properties, select this one and that one and move it onto the sketches layer. Okay. And maybe the points, yeah, I leave the points right where they are. Okay, then I want to make one spline so I will modify these two lines and will join them join this one and that one and confirm it by pressing the right mouse button so it should be one spline right now Okay, so now make sketches the active layer and I want to make a copy of this profile and move it 50 millimeters in set direction. So let's take a look. So let's make a copy. I want to copy this one. And the base point should be 0, 0, 0. And the second point should be 0, 0, 50. Or minus 50. It doesn't matter right now. Okay. It's a little bit jumpy, I don't know why. Seems my mouse is a little bit jumpy. Yeah, that looks okay. And now I want to scale this one. And I want to scale it by Zero point seven five, and I want to turn it uh, by thirty degrees. So maybe at first I rotate it, rotate this one. Base point point should be zero. Comma, zero comma fifty. And the angle should be 30 degrees. Okay, and then I want to scale it. Again, base point again, 0, 0, 50. And the factor should be 0 0.75. Something like this. Okay. Then I might deactivate this one 
Okay, looks just nice. And then I have to do a loft, so I will have to change my workspace to 3D modeling. Okay. Okay. So let's let's do a loft and take a look if it works. So where to find loft? Loft should be somewhere over here. Loft. That's one section. That's the second section. And enter. Cross sections only. Yes. And looks nice. Yeah. Maybe I change the visual style. You and change it too. Let's say to realistic. Yeah. Looks very nice. So this is one part of the turbine and I want to make a circular array, circular pattern polar pattern, however you will call it, and I will do this in the second part of this video. Uh, see you soon.